What's up everybody, it's Critical. I want to talk about something super important today. Now when people think of an event that changes the human species, many people think of nuclear bombs or other weapons we built to destroy each other, or maybe something religious like a meteor strike or God jerking off onto the planet causing a mass extinction bukkake. But let me tell you the most realistic thing that may change the course of the human species. Antibiotic resistant bacteria. I'm sure many of you have heard of this before, but for those who haven't, it's bacteria that becomes resistant to all of our antibiotics. Antibiotics were first discovered by Alexander Fleming in the early 20th century when he identified penicillin, and that in vaccinations led to a lot of diseases becoming pretty much extinct. But within the last couple decades, people have gotten a lot stupider and a lot more comfortable and taken a lot more things for granted. So now you have these stupid people like the anti-vaccination troglodytes who claim that vaccinations are going to cause their kids autism and have small tits and nipples and they just don't want that so they don't vaccinate their kids. Then this allowed for a lot of diseases that hadn't been seen for 50 plus years to come back even stronger. And then you have shitty doctors that'll prescribe antibiotics for pretty much fucking anything. If you glue a popsicle stick to your nose and then your nose gets stuffy because of it, you can ask for antibiotics and it'll give you them. Then you have people that don't finish their antibiotics when they're given them, which leads to the infection becoming more resilient to that type of uh, antibiotic. And now a lot of farmers have been using antibiotics on their animals because they don't just want normal animals. They want chickens that can bench press 400 pounds so they give them fucking antibiotics. That way they get bigger and beefier so they get more meat per chicken and cow. It's incredible. And all of this coupled together leads to the bacteria becoming more accustomed to the antibiotic, which leads to them evolving to be more resistant to it so they can continue to survive. It's basic evolutionary shit. Now, I know a lot of people sitting out there like, you know what, I don't give a shit. It doesn't affect me right now. This is something that might happen in the future. Why should I care now? Well, you homunculus, it's actually going to affect all of us right now because it's happening at this very moment. A woman in Nevada just died today from a superbug that was resistant to every type of antibiotic. So these antibiotic resistant bacteria are in the world now. So why is this so bad? Before antibiotics, people would die from the most basic shit. If you got a cut on your finger, that could basically kill you if it gets infected because there's not much you can do about it. And it's not just injuries that might get infected and kill you. Surgery would be completely off the table. There would no longer be any surgery allowed anymore because when you get surgery, you're given antibiotics to prevent infections from getting cut open and doing all this and that. And if these bacteria are resistant to the antibiotics, you will die from getting surgery. There will be no more life-saving surgeries because the risk is just too high. And it's not even just huge, big surgeries that would be out of the question. The smallest shit, like getting your wisdom teeth taken out, boob jobs, those would all be off of the table. Porn star titties would be small again. Most people out there probably are hearing what I'm saying and going, you know what, it doesn't really matter. We're so smart, I'm sure we'll find more antibiotics. Maybe? But there's a really small chance of that. There's a really good chance that there's just no more antibiotics to be found, that this is the limit. I don't think the majority of the 7 billion people overpopulating this planet understood just how important antibiotics were. I'm using it past tense because it seems like they're not going to be effective anymore. We're already seeing a lot of bacteria that's resistant to certain antibiotics, just not all of them yet until today from the Nevada woman who died from one who was completely resistant to all of the antibiotics. So what's the point in me telling you all this scary shit? My channel's dedicated to playing shitty video games and making weird videos. Well, the point is, maybe it'll help open some of your eyes. When you get antibiotics in the future, you'll finish the fucking dosage so you don't contribute to the problem. If you have friends or family that don't finish their antibiotics, tell them that shit's not gonna fly. Hey, Grandma Ruby, you sit those saggy ass cheeks down, I'm gonna watch you take these antibiotics each day until they're gone. Stop buying meat from places like Tyson that use antibiotics. I'm really not doing it justice illustrating just how big of a deal this is, but hopefully what I've said so far will help some people out there and contribute to the efforts to not all die from antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Also, if any of you out there listening to this are part of the anti-vaccination crowd, I strongly urge you to never reproduce and to please keep yourself locked inside of your house in total isolation. I've been reading a lot of scientific reports recently that claim too much air can cause herpes, so truly it's for your own good if you just stay locked inside of your house. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this PSA. Remember, it's not too late to stop being stupid, so yeah, that's it. See ya.